can never ever find the right words And there's no way this is real life There's no telling you all right, guys, this is new in the future. This is another sponsored video. I'm just pretty much getting back to all those companies that really supported me, and I haven't really showed them the love that they deserve. So Burger Tuning was a company that went ahead and sent me out some NGK spark plugs for this car. I'll have the image right there. So they pretty much just sent me that kit, which pretty much completed the maintenance that needed to get done before I do some major engine upgrades. So shout out to them for sending that amazing kit. Everything that's in that kit is required for the full installation of NGK spark plugs into a 435. So if you guys are just buying spark plugs, that's not gonna work. You need the full kit. So make sure to check them out up there. It's currently on sale on their website. If you guys are gonna be needing spark plugs soon, it's the time to get it. Let's jump right back into the video. Today is the day, guys. So I'm here at my parents' house. I actually have my 435 here in the garage alone. No other cars in here. Yeah, it's been a long time since we've seen any of my cars in the garage, and it's taken up the entire garage. The floor is actually really clean. It's a lot cleaner than the one we have at our shop. Kind of crazy. Anyways, I'm gonna show you guys the new wheels we just got. I went ahead and purchased these through Keys Motorsports, but they are variant wheels. These were purchased because I really like them. Your boy doesn't have tire or wheel sponsors just yet, but I did purchase these through Keys Motorsports because I love going through their site and also got that 5% discount code. So, you know, you know, your boy has to use it. If you guys want to cop anything at the Keys Motorsports shop, make sure you check it out down below. Use the code NORH to get yourself a little discount on anything you purchase. I think it's time. Jonathan. And by the way, guys, Jonathan's here. I think it's time to reveal the wheels. To show them the wheels. Dang, it's only been a little bit. You know what I'm saying? They cannot see the suspension. No, it's just basic springs, no big deal. Yeah, I think I just, just basic cut springs, you know. 8.5. So this is the front, 19 by 8.5. Oh, oh buddy. buddy. Oh, buddy, your boy got, got some new brand wheels. new wheels. Right, I've right. never had brand new wheels, Jonathan. Like this is- I know, right? <laughs> <laughs> we always get our Broke eBay boys. wheels. <laughs> Broke, boys <laughs> Broke boys out here. Are you ready? Oh yeah, go for it. Oh, oh, so I got another wrap. Dang, oh, oh, it's a package. Oh. Bam. <laughs> look at that wheel. Damn. Dude, that's gonna look so Damn. sick. Damn. What I really like about wheels like this also, it has like little engravings on the sides. I just love details like that. I think it's just super sick. And then also, you guys probably wonder where's the center cap, right? Let me do the honest, Jonathan, to pull this box out. How do you? Oh, look at the box. Variant. Damn. They look so good. This looks so like legit. <laughs> Oh man, I already ripped all these boxes open. Oh, this is 19 by 10. Oh, that's my rear. My rear is 10. But right here, you can open that real quick. Let's see how close. Guys, so I went ahead and went with something a little bit crazy. I didn't go with the original color. Like the center caps, you can get them the exact same color. But I went ahead and just took a gamble here. Bam. Bam. <laughs> Oh my god, dude. Damn. How close is it with the Damn, we gotta we got get this next to the wrap. That is pretty similar. That's what? Fish. That's dude, so similar. That looks crazy. <laughs> oh my god. That's gonna look so crazy, dude. With oh our god. suspension that's going on soon. Oh, Jonathan, we need to go to the shop right oh now, dude. Hell. Let's go ahead, unload everything out of the trunk, guys, and get all these new wheels inside the trunk. I'm gonna go ahead and get a lot, a lot of things also that I can put around inside the car so these wheels won't damage the interior because I really want this interior to be mint. That dude, it looks Phenomenal, dude. Let's go ahead and load them up. And also, also, for those of you guys who are wondering that, uh, if I'm gonna be changing my, my plate, we'll go, we'll go with Variant for now, why not? I think that's gonna look pretty badass for now. Let's go ahead and start loading all these bad boys into the car. Let's get these wheels on, mounted. And then head over to pick and pull because you notice that a brand new E90 hit pick and pull. So we're gonna have to get some good parts off that for ourselves and then head straight to the shop. All right, guys, we are here at Tire Wheel Zone. They hooked it up on the M3. They give me a pretty good discount on these wheels right here. So shout out to them for helping me out with that. I asked them what is the best wheels for the money. So basically, Federals is like almost the best bang for the buck. But apparently, there's this other brand that's also the best bang for the buck that's better than Federal. So I'm going to go ahead and try it, see how it is, see the ride quality. I've had these tires for a long time now. I believe these are Bridgestones. We'll see the difference in ride quality. So anyways, we're here at Tire Wheel Zone. Sam's place. <laughs> and... um. Basically, we got the variant wheels in the back. He's about to get the tires right now. We're gonna go ahead and mount it and see how it looks. I'm pretty hyped for this because uh, these stock ones need to go. So this is how it currently sits. I mean, they're not bad. I love these wheels. They're also already ceramic coated, but dude, we have to put on the new wheels. So we're gonna go ahead and go on one of these guys. I've never tried them before, but let's go ahead and check it out.
All right, guys, I got all the stock wheels back here with the sensors. I'm gonna be moving on with the sensors another day. They're just mounting the tires real quick. Should have them on here in a little bit. Are we using the same leg nut? Uh, yeah. <laughs> that should look so good. Guys, I love how small and thin the wall is. This actually looks so, dude, this looks so fire. Oh my God. Dude, you can even see the M like so noticeably now. These are the center caps we went with, guys. Look at those. These are the rears and these are the fronts. Dude, the front's in hella high. Guys, I need to put the suspension on. Oh my lord. Dude, but that actually looks so yeah, good. Yeah. Dude, this looks so good. Oh my god. Guys, I'm actually dumbfounded. So I don't know how I feel about the center caps. You guys can let me know. Should I paint match it to the actual wheel? But I think it actually looks super good. God, look at the concave. All right, guys, we just got a pick and pull where they just got a brand new E90 in. We don't have an E90, but we always need E90 parts. But oh my God, these wheels. We need to get a new suspension installed ASAP. I should have ceramic coated the wheels, but we just got the wheels and I've been waiting forever for them. So I'm super happy. I just wanted to put them on. I ceramic cut them in the next couple weeks because I do want them to be easily cleaned. Anyways, head in and look at that E90. All right, guys, so you found the E90. It was completely assembled with absolutely no front end damage. Um, honestly, the fenders are in great shape, and that's something that I would feel like I probably need eventually. I'm gonna see how hard these are to take off. If they're worth it, let me see how much they are too. If they're worth it, we'll take them. If not, whatever, because I know fenders are always needed, and uh, these are in like spectacular condition. So other than that, everything else, it's just not worth it. That sucks. Even the mirrors, actually. The mirrors are any good. We'll see. They would have dropped the engine down to shreds. They took the van off, which is the main thing. Uh, I think the ignition coils are out. Of course it is, because those are always needed. Damn, this really sucks. And I bet you they took the Logic 7. Of course they did. Whoever that saw this car scored. So we just checked out the prices. Not worth it. Um, at least we tried. That's whatever. Trying to get them good deals. But um, the fenders are about $60 a piece. Not like we need it. It's a good deal, but we don't need it. Anyways, I got to figure out how to get through all this disgustingness. And then uh, catch you guys back with a beautiful car. All right, guys. My tire pressure light is back on. Uh, that's unfortunate, but... You know, it's whatever. I didn't I didn't want to actually spend the extra $20 per D-mount and remount. Uh, so I was like, forget it. I'll probably end up doing that another day. I'll probably partner up with uh, Tire Wheel Zone again and hopefully get that thing situated with the new sensors. But as of today, I'm not really too worried about it. Mm, John went Chipotle. 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 Do <laughs> you want chips, Johnny? Yeah, of course. You gonna get chips? Oh, I want I want chips. You in a bowl? For the burrito? For the burrito. Nice. <laughs> Damn boys. Alright guys, so I actually have a mod at home that I forgot. A friend of mine, Blake, Blake's Garage, I don't know if you guys know him, I have his YouTube channel linked down below. He actually sent me out some grills. So he has the first M4. This is not an M4 of course, but the grills should fit the exact same. His is carbon fiber. So we're gonna go ahead, go home, install them, and I think this is gonna look super dope. But yeah, if I do this, head home, show you guys. The grills are also from Keys Motorsports, but they sent it out to him, and I'll be using them, so yeah. They look good or what? That fits it so well. <laughs> Damn, bro, this looks so good, dude. Looks good? Best choice. Right? I, I don't think you could have gotten to a better, I, I don't think you, there's no way. <laughs> <laughs> it looks so, I can't even okay, what do you think of the center caps? Should I went with metallic gray or do you think it's good? No, no, no. this is perfect. I so think it's good? It matches the car perfect. Do you think I should paint my calipers uh, the same color as the car or should I keep them blue? Uh, actually, black and copper, yeah. Copper. Copper? Copper? copper. All right, guys, let me know. I don't know, I kind of like the blue. Let me know if you guys want me to paint these in copper as well, but dude, this looks fire. Man, I, I should probably get these ceramic coated pretty soon, but. Yeah, yeah. Remember those grills? Yeah. Girls. From Blake. Then four girls. Yeah, the carbon fiber ones. They fit it. Yeah, right. We should we should throw them on right now. Yeah, I think they'll fit. Oh, really? Should. I totally yeah, forgot. exactly. Because of Blake. Yeah. So shout out to Blake and shout out to Keys Motorsports. Keys Motorsports sent it to Blake, and then Blake ended up using his original girls because he it actually has an M4 badge. If you have an M4, you gotta rep the M4. But this is not an M4, so I'm gonna go ahead and slap on the carbon fiber <laughs> girls. I think it's gonna be super dope. We're actually gonna be doing a mod for the first time in my garage in so long. Let's go ahead and get inside of the garage. So I'll show you guys the mod install. Oh my God, this car is really coming together. Shout out to Jonathan for opening up the lights. This looks so good, guys. In person, it 
it doesn't look the same than on camera. I, I, I'm looking at the camera, it's not the same. Start going to some of these car meets. As soon as this car is lowered, you guys will see this at the car meets. Yes, and come check it out. We're gonna be doing a lot more carbon fiber goodies and a lot more engine mods in the near future. So I'm partnering up with Burger Tuning and Keys to make that stuff happen. I really wanna get an intake ASAP because I heard that changes the sound and I'm trying to get one that's carbon, but we'll see how that works. Speaking of carbon, we got some grills. Do you know where those are? Somewhere around here somewhere. I think it might be that box up there. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Where did that even come from? Oh, it says it? Oh, oh, my, oh God. my God. Oh, oh my, dude. dude. That looks so, it's actually dark carbon, which I really like, dark gloss carbon. And actually the inside is all black as well. Let's install these right now. Oh my God, Jonathan, I swear to God that fits. I think it does. Jonathan, does it fit? It says F32 on the box. It dude. says that? Yeah. Dude, let's install it, let's install it. Oh my God, I'm hyped, I'm hyped. How you install these grills, you just gotta take out all these screws from up top here. You got like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight screws. Pull those screws out, go from behind, pop out all the tabs. So I'll just sit you guys up for a little time lapse. Let's get to it. I've been feeling so small. Watch the clock ticking off the wall. I could honestly pulled it out from the front, guys. It's whatever. Uh, here's just a quick little look at it. So these are gloss black, which look really good. I still love gloss black. There's nothing wrong with these. But you guys can see this carbon is just superb. I can't even explain. Yeah, normally carbon fiber grills are not cheap. So this is carbon fiber from Keys. The price is really fair, actually. So yeah, again, that'll be linked down below as well with the wheels. If you guys are checking out, want to check out the wheels, if you guys want to check out these grills, the links will be down below. So before, there we go, guys. Check that out. That's the new carbon. I think that looks baller. <laughs> I like how these inner parts are black and the outside is this dark carbon. It's like dark liquid uh, carbon. So this looks super sick. Match, like it actually matches the car very nicely. It flows really nicely. I love these grills. We got a lot more carbon fiber goodies coming in for the car, so don't worry. I do plan on doing a front lip, side mirrors, side skirt extensions, spoiler. And yeah, now we're here. I know, super random. Um, This is Nor in the future. I realized I didn't have an outro. So you know, your boy has to make an outro in his parents' bathroom. I know, very nice, very romantic, very nice. I mean, very nice. Anywho, as random as I am, I would just like to conclude the video with a huge special shout out to Keys, Variant Wheels, and Burger Tuning. So if you guys need some spark plugs for your N55, if you guys are trying to push some power, make sure to check out that link down below. If you guys love how the carbon grills came out, make sure to check out that other link down below. And if you guys love the wheels, oh my God, make sure to check out that link down below. I have links to everything. Shout out to all the companies that made it happen. The wheels are something I paid for, but it's honestly probably one of my favorite wheels other than the four stars in my opinion that are not three piece. So I really love these wheels. If you guys want to go through Keys Motorsports website to get them, but yeah guys, let me know what you guys think about the wheels. And without further ado, I love y'all so much. Remember to stay humble. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out. Yeah, yeah, let's go. I ain't the first with the curse, with the thirst that I wanna be better, not worse. Man, it hurts. I'm on this earth with my words, and I put them all together in cert, cause I wanna have worth.